Up to this point in the course, we have learned everything in physics in the macroscopic world. In the macroscopic world, I've highlighted over here in this column. But as we're starting to study light, and maybe even get into some nuclear physics, we need to develop a set of units to discuss things at the atomic or the molecular scale, which is depicted in this column. Now you may have be familiar with some of these units uh, from chemistry here um, in this column. So let's first speak about universal mass unit. In the SI system, the universal mass unit is, is denoted U or DA for Dalton. And of course, from chemistry, you recognize Dalton's law of uh, proportions and so forth, so it's named after Dalton. But it's U. In physics, we say U, and in chemistry, you may have been exposed to AMU. Well, one AMU, or one U, Dalton, is equal to, in the large-scale world, about 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. When we talk about the mass of a proton, we're talking about 1 AMU in chemistry, but it actually isn't just 1 with infinite precision as the definition of 1U is. A 1 proton has this particular mass in U or Dalton, and that translates to a different mass in kilograms. When it comes to the mass of a neutron, you will notice, although it is depicted at the chemistry level in terms of the mass number as a 1, when we get to the atomic or molecular scale and use, it's different. 1.007 versus 1.009 if we rounded it to the thousands place. So we can see the neutron and the proton do not have the same mass. Similarly, when we get to the macro scale in kilograms, they do not have the same mass there either. When we get to the mass of an electron, of course, you are familiar with it having zero mass in terms of AMUs, uh, but this is it in U's or Dalton's, times 10 to the minus fourth, and we may recognize this in terms of the kilograms, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. So in this installment, we're talking, we're going to focus on the mass only, and the next uh, short video, we'll talk about the energy. So what about these numbers? I'd make a connection to our understanding of the acceleration caused by gravity, where we have a constant of, say, 9.80665 meters per second squared. Uh, but depending on the level of precision we need, the number of significant digits, we would use varying numbers, where we could end up using a 9.807 or 9.81 or 9.8 or even 10, which isn't really a rounding, but that's the most common number we use, and it's an approximation. So for most purposes, we can use two or three, but again, the number of significant digits we need to use will depend on the other numbers we're employing. So when we look at the, say we want to use the mass of a proton in kilograms, well, it really just depends how precise we need to be based on our other data. So you have it here in its unrounded form, and that is uh, a suite of masses.